Hello everybody and welcome to our latest Travel Weekly Roadmap to Recovery webinar where we're bringing you product training and updates from key destinations which we hope will help you restart sales when travel resumes. I'm Katie from Travel Weekly and today we're bringing a little ray of sunshine thanks to our friends from the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel who are going to be showing us the unspoilt side of Florida. Uh, to do that I'm joined by Stephanie Zinker, Senior International Tourism Sales Manager based over in Florida. Welcome Stephanie. Thank you, Katie. Nice to be here. And we're also joined by Zeeshan Rashid, uh, UK and Ireland representative for the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. Hi, Z. Hi, Katie. How are you? Now, before we get into some destination training and uh, hearing from some of your partners over in Florida, um, I believe you've got a prize to give away to three lucky agents watching this webinar. Um, Z, can you tell us what that prize is, please? That's correct, Katie. So just in time for the holidays or Christmas, we are giving three agents a chance to win £50 spending vouchers for a retailer of their choice. So three agents, £50 each. Fantastic. Well, I'm sure that will go down really well in the lead up to Christmas. So you have plenty of takers. Um, so do listen out for the information contained in this webinar and for the questions we'll be giving at the end. So um, first of all, while we have you, uh, let's just find out a little bit about what the current situation is in Fort Myers and Sanibel. Obviously, you know, US borders are closed to Brits right now and we have limitations on travel anyway. Um, but Stephanie, are hotels and restaurants open over there? I mean, what's the atmosphere like? Yes, Katie. So we are back open. Uh, we're open for business. Obviously, right now it's limited to domestic business. But our hotels, our attractions and restaurants are fully open. But of course, everybody is strictly um, sticking to the CDC health guidelines. Some hotels even have gone further and, and added their own um, he um, health and safety protocols just to make sure, you know, that our the guests and visitors feel safe at all times. But for business, yes, we are um, open. We're eager to welcome everybody back as soon as the borders open. So for the time being, I know we know the feeling, um, what it's like to wanting to travel and not being able to. But for the time being, all we can do right now is share our sunshine virtually with you. Absolutely. But it's nice to hear that, um, you know, uh, things are going OK over there and, you know, things are open, uh, ready for tourism to restart. Um, I mean, it's it's such an unspoiled destination. In fact, I think you even use that word in the URL for your new UK trade website. Um, you've got lots of outdoor activities, open spaces, which I'm sure you'll be telling us about. Um, are you seeing a lot of interest in travel for next year? Um, you know, given that it, it perhaps fits in with some of the trends that we're seeing uh, that might be popular in 2021? Absolutely. Um, we're seeing that from feedback we're getting from the UK trade and tour operators is that people want to go to Florida as always for the summer holidays for 2021, you know, how long can we not travel for and um, Florida has always been a popular destination, but what's great about Unsport Florida, which we're going to discuss is this time they want to see another side to Florida away from the crowds and so he they're heading to our destination where it's all about nature and isolation and you know spending time as a family together that sounds fantastic yes and i think that is exactly what everyone is going to need next year um so well with that in mind it sounds fantastic let's uh, find out a little bit more so i'm going to hand over to you both to share your screen and uh give us some training on the beaches of fort myers and sanibel thank you katie so the beach of Fort Myers and Sanibel is located in southwest Florida. And as you can see, it's very close to some of the other popular destinations. So we're three hours from Orlando, two and a half hours from Miami, and two hours from Tampa, making us a great twin center destination. And I always say that those other places are great, but they're quite hectic. So when you come back, you're tired and you're, you're thinking, oh, I need another holiday. So why not just pop over to our destination where it's all about immersing into the island life mentality and just relaxing. So as you can see, um, we are made up of islands. So we're made up of over a hundred barrier islands. However, these are the mainstay islands that you can see here. Um, and in this webinar, we'll be really focusing on Sanibel and Cap Diva with our partners. who will be talking about their accommodation and the activities you can do. Sanibel Island and Cap Diva are probably the two very special islands. That, um, so Sanibar is a sustainable island. It's all about nature and protecting the biodiversity. So it'll come as no surprise that you won't find any high-rise hotels or buildings here. So everyone's guaranteed a beach view. 
And then we have Captiva Island, which is personally my favorite. It's the small sister island next to Sanibel. And whenever I take fan trips from the UK here, always the same reaction. They look around and say, this doesn't belong in Florida. It feels like you're in the Caribbean. And that's true. From the landscape, the atmosphere, it is the alternative to the Caribbean. And you really get to escape into that island life. Um, and then if you, went, if you want to do a fly drive or you want to just fly straight into our destination, you can. We have our own airport, Southwest International, and it connects from many of the international hubs in the US and it's the easiest airport to use. All your checks are done at the international hub. So literally, you land into RSW, you grab your bag and you check out. And I'm now going to pass it over to Stephanie, who will be telling us more about what you can do in the beach of Fort Myers and Sanibel. Thank you, Z. So I'm going to take you on a little trip around the different islands. Um, we always say our islands are our treasures because, as you know, in Florida, there's lots of beaches, lots of coastline. But we think what sets us apart here is our islands and our unique spots that you can find. As we mentioned before, it's a little bit of the unspoiled. Um, I would almost go so far as to say some of the most natural areas and most natural beaches and islands in Florida that you can find. And as we heard before from Zishan, it was a two and a half, three hour drive from Orlando or Miami. So perfect to combine it. So I am actually right now sitting um, behind me. You can see this is Boca Grande. This is also one of our outer islands, but we're gonna take you through um, some of the islands that are most established for the tourism um, industry to receive visitors, meaning, you know, accommodations, attractions, restaurants. So we're going to focus on um, Sanibel and Captiva and the outer islands today. And we always like to say, you know, there's so much water that surrounds us. Therefore, this is our playground. Perfect in times like these when you do want to get away and you want to find a spot where you can just be by yourself or be with your um, family. Here's plenty of places where you can do that. One of my favorite ways to do that is obviously to go out and get on the water. But if you do want to get away from the water, a lot of peop um, people don't really know that Florida has a very, very strong ecosystem that is actually inland as well. So we have actually the benefit of having both of the best worlds. We have our waters that surround us, but we also have the inland beautiful refuge and nature preserves. Um, there's one pictured here, uh, which is inland. We will hear later on about one of the other ones, which is one of the true gems located on Sanibel. But these are great um, um, ways to get out, explore, get in touch with the, what we call the wild side. And when you are out and about, the, the, one of the best things that I prefer here is, I like to always call and say, it's almost like a zoo, but without all the cages and barriers because you get to be one of the visitors in the natural habitat of so many species and wildlife around here, whether it be on the land, in the, in the water, or in the air. One of my favorites here is the boring owl, which is a very protected species in Cape Coral. And like I mentioned before, there's so many different ways to get around on the water. There is um, a very, very extensive network of paddling trails for those of you who like a little soft adventure and like to get out and paddle. Perfect activity to either do on your own or if you do want to get a little bit more in touch with nature, if you want to learn a little bit more about the local um, flora and fauna, then you can go on guided tours, which we have available through very, very different outfitters throughout the entire destination. And again, and some of our other favorite friends here in the area, um, we have the manatee and the bottlenose dolphin. Uh, we have um, plenty of bottlenose dolphins in around. And I always used to say, you know, back in the days when we used to do fam trips, I would always be caught saying, and I was then, you know, criticized for not saying it because I can't really promise it. But so far, I've, almost seven years, it hasn't failed me that you can say every time you go out on the water here, whether it be in a kayak, a stand up pedal board or a boat, um, you will always see dolphins playing around, jumping around, showing up, popping up next to you. Another great way to um, get around our area, especially on Sanibel, you have about 25 miles of bike path, which is great for the families. And it's also one of the 
I want to say most popular way to get around, especially you know in the in the summer months or when it's a bit busier on the islands, because there is only one road onto the island and one road off. So bikes are actually the best way for locals and visitors alike to get around. And the best part is most of the hotels nowadays on the island actually do offer the bikes free of charge for the hotel guests. So it's very easy to just grab some with the family and go around and explore and maybe stop over one of the restaurants for lunch while you're out and about. One of the other things that makes Sanibel truly unique is it's known as the shelling capital of the world, the seashell capital of the world. Um, there is um, over 400 different types of shells throughout um, that you can find, obviously not at all at the same time, but it's a very, very important um, pastime that um, locals and visitors practice. And you just go out and about and find the biggest shell, the most beautiful shell. I like to say it's a great way to entertain the little ones because it's a free activity. It entertains them for hours. And the best part is they get really tired and sleep well at night. And now before we um, wrap this portion up, I would like to go and show you a quick video um, to show you the feeling of what it is like to not being able to travel, but we are waiting for you and to welcome you back here, you and your clients. And we hope that soon you will be able to see and explore all of this for yourself. Enjoy. That feeling when you're in the moment you've waited for, thought about, talked about, dreamed about. And the minute you think it can't get any better, the minutes just keep coming. Know the feeling on the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. Now, we're going to hear more from Stephanie and Zishan in a moment. Uh, but first, we're going to hear about Fort Myers and Sanibel from three companies that will really shine a light on the kind of experiences your clients could expect to have there. Uh, first of all, we've got Verdell Eckberg, Director of Sales and Marketing at South Seas Island Resorts. Hi, Verdell. Hello, how are you, Katie? Good, thank you, and thank you for joining us. Uh, next, we've got Tony Westland, Supervisory Refuge Ranger at JM Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. Hi, Tony. Hello, thanks for having me. And we've also got Captain Bob Rando, Owner and Managing Director of Captiva Cruises. Thanks for joining us, Bob. Hi, Katie, thank you. Thanks for having us. Well, we really appreciate you all taking the time um, to give us a little insight into your products. So I'm going to hand over to you to share your screen um, for a little introduction. Uh, Stephanie is going to very kindly move the slides along. Um, so over to you. Hello, everyone. This is Verdell Eckberg, uh, as, as Katie said, Director of Sales and Marketing of South Sea Zion Resort. Uh, we are located off Fort Myers on uh, Captiva Island, Florida. Uh, and as I said, we're a private island resort. We are acres uh, bordered by two and a half miles of White Sand Beach. Uh, um, you know, we have 250 species of, of shells, you know, kind of just an interesting little factoid here. Uh, as we're known for uh, shelling here on, in Sanibel Captiva. Uh, we have an abundance of accommodations, 404 made up of multiple units, traditional hotel rooms, one and two and three bedroom villas, uh, and four to nine bedroom uh, private homes. We're just 35 miles from Southwest Florida Airport. So, you know, very, you know, 50, 45, 50 minute drive. Uh, the hotel has, we have multiple pools, 20 pools, uh, over 20 tennis courts, uh, nine dining options. We have golf on site, a nine hole executive course. Uh, so there's, there's really water sports and, and uh, beach dining. Uh, we have a marina, uh, we have two marinas. He uh, is known for you know, fish. And so uh, we hope you come visit us. Uh, next, we're going to show just a little video here in a second. You can see, you know, we're a family resort. Uh, we do a lot of weddings. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, the sunsets here are pretty epic. I think we go into a little video next that kind of kind of goes into in our current uh, COVID uh, world, you know, how you can be here, social distance, 
uh, stay in the villas. You can live, learn, play, uh, and, and feel safe. Thanks, Riddell, for all of that. You know, there's so many beautiful accommodations here on Sanibel and Captiva, but you might need an adventure during the day. So you need to head over to the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge, which is, I think, one of the best values and great experiences for families, for couples. It's a great way to social distance and explore nature. You can get out on a kayak. You can be stand up paddle boarding, rent a bike, even just bring your own car, drive through, hike, bike, nature photography. You always want to start your adventure in our free visitor and education center and then head out onto the trails. With over 250 different species of birds, like seen here, our roseate spoonbill that people come from all over the world to see. You make sure you would want to visit during low tide to check out our wildlife. So you can do that by calling or getting on our website, but the best thing is low tide and the best birding is actually January through the end of March, where we have a lot of the snowbirds, the people, but also the snowbirds with two wings um, calling Ding Darling home. But it doesn't matter what time of the year. You can get out to our different boardwalks, climb our towers. Um, every day is a different adventure. It could be dolphins or manatees. And definitely people come to see our alligators and other wildlife, bobcat. And it can all be done safely with your own social group. Um, but you can get out on a tram and we're taking precautions for that. Um, We've got rare birds like seen here in the lower left, um, white pelicans in the background, but actually that it's crazy to see things like the great white pelican that ventured here um, over from Africa. So we've got native wildlife, wildlife of all different um, species and kinds. We'd love to have you all come out and join us. Again, it's very minimal in cost, Get out to our website, fws.gov forward slash ding darling for all the information. Okay, hi, I'm Bob Rando from Captiva Cruises. And uh, we've been in business on Captiva Island since 1986. And we operate the main part of our business out of beautiful South Seas Island Resort. We do all kinds of cruises. Uh, we cruise around Pine Island Sound and we have some fantastic destinations. Uh, we cruise to Cabbage Key, which a lot of people know as the inspiration for Jimmy Buffett's famous song, Cheeseburger in Paradise. We travel to Yusefa Island, which was started uh, really back in the early 1900s as a millionaire's fishing retreat. And we go to Boca Grande, which was the first island on the west coast of Florida with a bridge and electricity. So it became a vacation spot and in the early 1900s. And we go to Cayo Costa State Park, which is a nine mile long barrier island that's virtually uninhabited. Our cruises take place within Pine Island Sound, which offers uh, quite a few good points. One, we don't ever have to cancel our cruises because of rough sea conditions. Uh, the waters of Pine Island Sound are very, very shallow, and they're very calm. So we do cruises just about every single day, so weather is not really a factor for us. Another great thing about Pine Island Sound is our resident dolphins. We have over 300 Atlantic bottlenose dolphins that live in Pine Island Sound. That means they spend their entire lives there. They do not migrate. They stay there, and we know this because a marine scientist came to study these dolphins around 40 years ago, and she identified and cataloged 300 dolphins that stay there year-round and don't migrate. Um, she was able to do this by taking photographs of their dorsal fins, 
you know, they say no two human beings have the same fingerprint. Well, no two dolphins have the same markings on their dorsal fins. And like I said, she identified and cataloged at least 300 uh, Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. Uh, our destinations are great. We also operate some of our boats out of what we call the village section of Captiva. It's kind of downtown. It's on Andy Rossi Lane called McCarthy's Marina. And we operate a lot of private charters out of there. We also do our trips to Boca Grande and uh, Cayo Costa State Park. So I'm going to watch a short little video now um, of some of the things that we do. And thank you very much. Well, that certainly gave us some good insight into your product. So thank you to all of your partners for joining us. Um, now I'm back with Stephanie and Zishan, uh, just to put a few of those threads together into what you can actually sell right now. Um, so we, we've kind of talked about this quite a lot, about the nature side and, and you know all of the things that Fort Myers and Sanibel offers that perhaps might challenge people's expectations of Florida. But how do agents actually open their customers' eyes to that. I think lots of Brits think they know Florida already because they've been to Orlando and Miami. Um, so what can agents actually do to help um, open their customers' eyes to that side? And Steph, perhaps we'll start with you on that. Well, that's a good point, um, Katie. I think the state of Florida has it all. We just sometimes need to look a little bit further and look for like beyond the most known. We don't necessarily compete with an Orlando or a Miami. I always like to say we complement them. We add a little bit of extra value, so to speak, to the holiday. Within the proximity of two to three hours drive, you find a completely different um, a holiday destination. So we think that, you know, you can combine the two and they complement each other really well, especially after you've been in the crowded, busy areas, you know, this area here being a slower pace, I think it complements really well to add on maybe two, three nights, maybe a whole week to come down here and decompress, recharge um, before you fly on back home. So um, we encourage, you know, um, the travel agents to kind of consider adding and offering this little add on for a beach vacation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and do you have a kind of a favorite spot in the region or a favorite memory? Z, you mentioned uh, Captiva from all of your fam trips. <laughs> Captiva was a very special, to my, it's my first, when I went to Fort Myers, Captiva really had like a special place in my heart. I just remember with the group and just the agents just looking around like, oh my God, this is Florida. This is the Caribbean. And I was like, yeah, it is. And it was, you know, we were talking about, we had two holidays in one. We went to the Caribbean and we went to Florida. So yeah, Captiva is a very special place for me. Absolutely. And Steph, do you have a favorite? Um, there are so many, it's hard to pick one. I mean, most recently, I actually tried stand up paddle boarding um, for the first time. So although during the first time, there wasn't a lot of standing involved because it's actually quite tricky. But when you finally get the hang of it, it's one of the most beautiful, enjoyable, peaceful ways to actually go out and explore. And one of my favorite spots for that to do so is Lover's Key State Park, which is towards the south end of the destination. And speaking of fans, I also just wanted to add, um, you know, when, when we saw, you know, it, it used to be something that we used to do quite a lot in, in previous times. And we really enjoy having travel agents here because it's so different to doing a presentation on the screen versus living and breathing and, you know, eating at the places and having those, oh, I've never been in the kayak before. And then you convince them that it's safe enough and let's go out on a kayak trip and then you have a manatee come up or dolphins in the background and, and people just adults just getting emotional um, with, you know, seeing the animals live and up close. And then at the end of the fam coming up to you and giving you a hug and saying, thank you. Thank you for sharing the slides of paradise, which we didn't know existed. So I'm looking forward to being able to have these experiences and share them with all the travel agents soon. What was the one thing that you think agents could do as a result of seeing this webinar if they want to then just take it the next step? I mean, you launched your your trade website. So would it be to go to that and do do a bit more training or you know, what, what's the next step for agents watching this webinar? 
definitely head over to Unspoiled Florida um, as the next step where you can access our online training course. So, I mean, we only had a few minutes here, but as, you, as we said, we, we're made up of many islands and each island or place in Fort Myers Sanibel is you know, unique for a different type of audience, the different activities, different natural things you can see. So that's what that training course tells you and teaches you on how best to sell our product. But then also we have our toolkit. So access to our images and videos and also news and updates from our partners. Everything you need now for, you know, for your newsletters, for your social media, as a way to continue engaging and inspiring with your customers. Fantastic. Yeah. And you can find that link on the Travel Weekly site as well. Um, I'm afraid that is all we've got time for. Um, although I'd love to stay just chatting about um, Florida with you for, for hours. Uh, but we can't go without asking those all important competition questions to win one of three shopping vouchers just in time for Christmas. Um, so can you guys tell us the questions that agents need to answer, please? Yes. So the first question is, how many types of shells can be found on the beach at South Seas Island Resort? And then the second question is, how many species of birds do visit the J Ending Darling Wildlife Refuge? And the final question is, Pine Island Sound is home to a resident population of how many dolphins? To enter the competition, go to go.travelweekly.co.uk stroke Fort Myers webinar by the closing date of November 30th for your chance to win those vouchers just in time for Christmas. Uh, for now, thank you to Stephanie, to Zeeshan and to your partners over in Florida. And thank you for watching. See you next time.